Whether your child will be attending as an infant or a toddler, choosing a good Montessori school is very important. In this video, I go over some of the things that you'll want to look for and ask before you choose a Montessori school. Have you searched for Montessori schools near you? You might be surprised at the amount of Montessori schools in your area. Having choices is always a great thing, but it's important to do your research before you pick. First thing you need to know is that anybody can put the name Montessori in their school name. There's no certificate required or testing to use that name. Just because the school declares themselves Montessori, it doesn't always mean that they're following the Montessori method. So that's why it's important you visit the school and tour it before you enroll your child. During the tour, you get to meet the people who run the school as well as a chance to see how the teachers interact with the current students. This helps you get a feel of the environment as well as take a look around the rooms. Everything should be clean and well maintained. Both furniture and any wall arts should be low so they're child friendly. Those are good indicators that the school is Montessori aligned. Things like rows of desks that are more similar to traditional schools isn't something you'd want. Another thing to watch for is that adults actually aren't the only ones teaching. Take a look at the interaction between the students attending. Ideally, each classroom should be a mixed age group. This way, the older kids can teach and help the younger ones. This usually helps the younger ones learn faster and hone the skills of the older child. One thing that should also stand out is how calm and peaceful classrooms are. Hopefully, you see children in deep concentration as they work on different activities. And if children are moving around, they're either putting things back or choosing new activities to work on. The movements in the classroom is slow and purposeful. A good question to ask is if the school is AMI or AMS. These are two different styles of Montessori. A quick overview difference between them is that AMI follows Maria Montessori, the founder of Montessori Method teachings, exactly, while AMS was founded later and allows adaptation to modern culture. I'll have a link down below about the two if you want to learn more about the differences. The school should easily be able to inform you which of the two their teachers are trained in or certified in. Additionally, knowing the type the school follows might help you lean towards a particular school depending on your own thoughts. Another question to ask is how long the teachers and assistants have worked at the school. You'd want to avoid a high turnover rate in staff as this could disrupt your child's learning if they need to constantly deal with new teachers and new personnel to interact with. While high turnover rate definitely affects infants, I want to say that it disrupts toddlers a bit more because they're really into routines. So whenever you throw in new teachers, this might throw them off a little bit and it might disrupt their learning as they have to get used to the new teacher. The next thing you want to find out from the school doesn't really tie in with Montessori, but it's still important. How are meal times handled? Some schools provide meal plan options you can pay extra for, while others require you to prepare food for your child to bring each day. There isn't a right or wrong answer on this, as it's just your personal preference. My son's current school is the latter, which is something we prefer, as we want to make sure our son not only has a balanced diet, but also has a wide variety of different types of food. The downside of this is, of course, the extra time to make sure meals are cooked and prepped ahead of time. These questions and observations will help you narrow down which schools are authentic Montessori schools. Don't be afraid to ask these questions as you'll be entrusting the school with both the care of your child as well as their education. If a school doesn't answer a question directly, I'd be a bit wary of them. After doing your research and observing the schools, one of the biggest factors is going to come down to your instincts. Did you get a good vibe from the school and teachers? Are you comfortable with the way management introduces the school and the facility? Montessori or not, you need to not only feel comfortable, but also safe leaving your child at the school. I definitely suggest you tour multiple Montessori schools, as that's the best way to learn about the options out there. While online reviews and word of mouth are great, it doesn't quite give you the same level of insight as touring the schools. For example, my sister-in-law who lives fairly close to us enrolled her children in a different Montessori school than us. We both toured the same schools but had different feelings about the schools we visited. With that, good luck on finding a Montessori school. And let me know down below in the comment section if you have any questions pertaining to Montessori schools. My son has been attending for a little while now, and I can tell he's learned quite a bit from school. Consider subscribing for more Montessori-inspired content like this video. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.